Hey everybody! I had a friend make this homemade mask for me and my coworker, and we were so happy about it that we decided to share a quick video from the maker on how she did it. Well, I want to clarify first, I'm not a medical expert, and I do not know details of how to stop the coronavirus other than what I hear from the news and the media. One thing we have heard though is that if you have the virus without knowing, you can stop spreading it as easily if you have on a mask. Of course, self-isolation is the best, but hey, we all gotta get out into the real world and buy some groceries sometimes, right? Also, it is important to use masks appropriately. There are many bad ways to use masks, such as touching the outside of the mask and then touching your face or your eyes. So, think that because you have a mask on, you are safe is not a good way of thinking. So, be careful and uh, remember the no-nos of wearing masks. Homemade masks also have to be cleaned very well. Again, I'm not an expert, but what I have heard is that you can use dishwasher liquid cleaner even with kaimen kasezai. This is uh, called surfactants in English, but what it does is it really helps break down the virus and other germs on the mask. We've seen this in other channels and news sites in Japan that promote this chemical, but again, do your own research before blindly following us. Just remember, there are many options, and go ahead and try and find the safest ones by looking it up yourselves. All that aside, we think if used appropriately, masks can be one of the many great tools to help stop the spread. And, well, it helps hide your beard. If you want to know how to make your own, go ahead and stay tuned. These are all items you can hopefully find in your house to make a mask. For your clothes, make sure to wash them and dry them.
Hey guys, thanks for watching, and if you like to see more content from us, go ahead and smash that like button and hit subscribe. We have videos in the past of us wandering around talking to restaurant owners, giving apartment tours, and even trying to speak the different dialects of Japan. We have a really fun time here in Japan, so go ahead and give us a comment. Let us know if you have any questions about Japan, especially if you're thinking to move here in the future. Mata ne!